To me, the OnePlus 8T is on my top list for the best smartphone of the year. I've used it for well over a month, and in my detailed review, I gave it a thumbs up despite a few setbacks. Now I wanted to show you how I made it mine. When creating a good home screen setup, I always want the widgets and icons to align well with the background wallpaper. I also avoid using too many widgets and icons because then my launcher looks cramped and unorganized. After a month of trying to find the perfect setup, I think I've finally made it. I had to use a third party launcher because the grid layout on the OnePlus stock launcher was too small, so I switched to the classic Nova launcher. I'm not going to go over every option that I changed within the Nova settings because that would take forever, but I'll still tell you some of the basic modifications that I made and I'll make sure to include my backup file as a download link in the description. So first off, I changed the desktop grid to a maximum of 12x12, 12 12. I also enabled the dock, changed the dock pages to 2, and changed the dock icon size to 150, you'll see why in a minute. I made the search bar be right below the icons, and for the icon pack I chose to use squared because most of the widgets on the home page are rectangular or square shaped. For the app drawer I changed the grid size to 6x5 and I changed the search bar style to the normal Google search bar shape. Lastly I enabled the night mode to the darkest option. Jumping to the home screen I chose to use an OLED wallpaper. It took a while to find the right one, but finally after days of searching, I stumbled across this outer space one. I found it within an app called TruePix under the name of Dark Stars, and it almost seems like it was made specifically for the OnePlus 8T. You have the OnePlus logo in the dead center, the astronaut is hanging from a wire that lines up perfectly with the camera hole punch, and the planet at the bottom is perfect for holding all of my widgets and icons. Now the best part about the setup is that all the widgets come from the same app. It's called Elega KWGT. The theme of this pack is making sure all the widgets look elegant and fancy, and I believe in nailed it. It'll only work though if you have the apps KWGT Custom Widget Maker and KWGT Custom Widget Pro Key. If you use my Nova backup file, you'd be able to drop in the widgets to their appropriate spot quickly. You may need to modify these sizes a bit, but that shouldn't be too hard to do. On the main page, the widget at the top is called Elega Analog 3. It keeps it minimal and clean by having a simple analog clock that animates when the time changes and it gives you the date in a classy font called Laura. Down the dock, you would think I'm using a different icon pack, but nope. Those icons are all one giant widget called Elega App 7. Only on Nova Launcher can you replace the icons on the dock with a second widget. Anyways, just like the search bar below it, it has a rectangular outline around the apps, and they're all essential. The surprise doesn't stop there. If you swipe on the icons, another widget will slide in telling you the weather forecast and I made it so that when you tap on it, it'll launch the OnePlus weather app. The widget name is Elega Glance 4. Finally, the outline search bar is called Elega Search 2. Tapping on it launches the Google search panel. Moving on to the second screen, I've included two widgets. The one at the top is a music player that shows you the song's info, album cover, and lets you control the audio playback. I absolutely love the squarish theme. It looks so amazing on this widget. The name of it is Elega Music 5. And finally, the widget towards the bottom lets you know the weather and your next calendar event. Tapping on the event launches it in the Google Calendar app. That's basically my entire home screen on the OnePlus 8T. Clean and simple. Lastly, I wanted to go over all of my favorite apps that I use on my phone. The first one is Access Dots. This is a must have because it puts a dot in the corner of your screen for whenever any of your apps use your phone's camera or microphone. The green dot is the camera and the orange one is for the mic. I use Ampere to measure the charging and discharging current on my battery. Not a bad way to see if you're getting the most out of your charger. Apps Free is the best app to discover paid apps and games that are free for a limited time. Bitlick keeps me up to date with the Android customization community. It shows me the wallpapers, icon packs, or widget apps that have been recently released or updated. Castro tells me everything that I need to know about my phone in a beautiful manner, including what type of software and hardware it has. CleanFox easily lets me delete or unsubscribe from newsletters or spam emails. No other app does it better than CleanFox. Daywise is a great way to stop unwanted notifications. It'll only show me important notifications instantly, while every other unimportant notification gets shown in batches throughout the day. Download Progress Plus Plus shows a progress bar on the edge of my screen whenever I download or upload something. That way I don't keep checking my notification panel to find out the progress. Endel is my favorite soundscape app to help me keep focused and relaxed. It plays relaxing sounds for however long I'd like. I love to use Hermit as a tool to replace my large native apps with web-based light apps like Facebook, Google Translate, etc. Instamox lets you wrap your screenshots with pixel-perfect device mockups and you can even edit the background immensely. I sometimes use Product Hunt to discover new amazing apps, games, websites, gadgets, etc. Really Pro is my go-to Reddit client. Screen Recorder is by far my favorite screen recording app, even over the native Oxygen OS screen recorder because it has a way better bit rate with which provides better quality. 
To track all of my packages easily, I use shop. You just need to sign into your email and just like that, all of my shipments and past shipments are shown to me. Last but not least, I love to use Beta Maniac to easily join the beta programs of my apps and know when a limited number beta program opens up. Anyways, that's how I made my OnePlus AT mine. Of course, I use other apps like Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, etc. But I'm sure you don't want me to mention those. Either way, that's it for this video. Please drop me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and get subscribed with the notification bell turned on. Comment what you think of my home screen setup and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.